Hi friends, welcome again. In our last two videos, we have uh, read data from XML and JSON files and then uh, we manipulated the data, we printed those data in multiple files and all. So in this example, we'll be reading data from a flat text file and uh, we'll try to split data, to try to extract information and save it into multiple files or that is just one simple example or you can use that data in any form, maybe uh, you can pass it or, or you, whatever you want to do, you, you can perform. J the, the problem statement is you need to extract the meaningful information from junk. So here you can see I have uh, taken very normal strings. Okay, so it may be a bulk data. So here you can see we have uh, some separators or you can call it as a delimiter, few stars here, six stars. Okay, and this is uh, present at multiple places in multiple rows. Now uh, our job is to extract the data in between these and uh, uh, we'll be putting this data in different files. So this will go in first file and then second section will go in second, th third and third and so on and so forth. How many, I mean, it doesn't matter how many sections do we have here. So for that, uh, we need to write a script in Python. So it should do something like this. It will open that file and it will generate four text files one two three four because we have four sections in our input file but if you have multiple you'll get uh, n number of files so that the content goes like this okay so so we have extracted uh, the information that we want in multiple files now we'll create the script from scratch we will be deleting everything and we'll create a new python script extreme python dot py Okay, and we'll open it. From here. Okay, so we'll write it from scratch. So first thing is, uh, because we need to read data from an input file. So we'll start with with block. With, we'll use open functions to read, uh, function to read the data from input file. And here in the argument, we need to specify the file name or file path because it is present uh, in the same location, same directory. So we just need to put the file name. So file name is inp.txt. Okay, and you can give it an alias as fo like this. Fine. So now uh, once, once you read data from it, the next thing is... Uh, to, uh, uh, once you open the data, open the file, the next job is to read the content. So for reading, we, we, we have a read function. Okay, so w once you do fo.read, it will give you the content and if you can print that content using print function. If you're using Python 3, you need to put it in brackets, otherwise you can leave it if you're using Python 2.7. So now when you run, it will give you the entire content of file over here. Okay, so and remember, because you have opened a file, so it is always a good practice to close it also. So fo dot close. Fine. So now here, uh, we we are done with reading the entire content, but we need to extract something. So that can be done in many ways. So for example, if we need to uh, read the content line by line, or you may uh, have a special case to read it or split it down. If it is a CSV file, you, you, you might want to split it into columns also using comma and then lines also as a record. So that is also doable. But for this simple case, we'll be splitting down our strings or the entire text into multiple rows. So for that, we'll be using split function. And in fact, uh, for, for, for that, we just need to write fo.read. It will read the content and we can uh, we can rem remove this part for the time being and to split we'll be using split function here you need to specify the delimiter for, for the time being I'm considering it as new line character so when we split it down now the output of this would be an array okay so we'll get uh, the the array with a number of rows as the elements and every element would be uh, a, 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 a row right uh, the data in that row Okay, so basically if I show you the input file, so the first element of that array would be this, second would be this, third would be this, and so on and so forth. So the number of rows would be the size of array. Now let's go back to the script. 
Now we want to iterate through every element of array one by one. So for that we will be using for loop. So I am taking x as one uh, element of that array. So for, for, for this uh, I will be using, I can use any name but I am using x as here. So if I want to print x now, right, so now it will print each record one by one. So the elements uh, in the in the, the entire array, uh, it will print one by one. So initially it will print first row and then it will go here again. It will check the second element, it will print the second row, third, fourth, fifth and the output would be similar as we have seen earlier. But there is a difference. Now the difference is fo.read was reading the entire content and it was printing as it is. But with this, we, we can manipulate with the data. So for example, if I want to insert a, uh, uh, you can say dash, dash, dash or something like in between every row. So for that, we can do something like this. Add a new line over here and then insert few dashes and then add a new line over here and just run it. You'll see the difference. So the meaning is we, we, we are actually reading the content line by line and then we are concatenating whatever we wanted okay and then it prints second thing and then it again prints that thing and so on and so forth in fact you can remove this also so this way you you you, you have access to every record or every row of uh, that uh, file okay now, now once it is done now you need to write logic uh, uh, in terms of uh, as we discussed earlier we want content between two stars or two delimiters uh, in one file and so on and so forth it should follow uh, for n number of records so for that what we'll be doing here we need to put a logic here see the logic says when you start from top Okay, so the first row is okay. If, if there is a star, then start reading the data. Then keep on reading the data until you find another star. Once you find that, just print whatever you have saved. Okay, so that, uh, and that uh, you need to print in one file. So you can save it or you can write it in one file and then clear that data. You don't need it again. Then start reading again after this star okay and keep on reading until you reach to another star okay and then uh, once you have that data set then write it to a file and then start reading for third so on and so forth we can do like this so our logic should be if the value of x is nothing but uh, the content of that record so f if x is equal to six stars one two three four five six one extra so we'll delete it so if it is something like this okay then do something and if it is not then do something so in the else block we know that if it is not like this then just keep on concatenating the data okay so for that we'll we'll take a variable here op i'm just considering it as output so op is equal to previous value of output plus concatenate it with a new line character and the value of x okay so what it will do uh, i'll again come back to the input file so ignore the uh, first case right now we'll be, we'll be writing logic for it now let's say we are here we have we are reading this content now when we are on second uh, record what we need to do is we need to concatenate this with this and there should be a new line character in between and then after this we need to concatenate this with this and we'll get the entire string and then we can print it out okay so op is equal to op plus new line character and x so this way you will get the strength right and once this is over um, because you have written here if this is this uh, w w once you have this content 
and uh, you reach to another star you need to write to a file now that logic writing to file should be written here because we are here writing that if x is this 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 star okay now there are two things that we need to write in this block one is for first star when we are on the top what we need to do second is when we are here in between so when we are here we need to perform two actions we need to save the previous content and we need to start for the next one but when we are here we need to perform only one just start because previous is nothing okay and in the last case we need to perform only one we need we just need to save the previous so three conditions that we need to take care of so how how, how do we handle this now so for that uh, we need another variable you can say i am considering uh, you can name it anything i am considering it as start okay and i give it a value as 0 so initially i consider that the value of start is 0 okay so here i can say uh, in this if start is equal to 1 then do something and if it is not 1 then that means i am talking about the first row because uh, nothing is started yet initially the value is 0 so it will come here directly if nothing has uh, started yet then what we can do we can set the value of start to 1 okay we can give an instruction that okay start reading the content if you have not yet started just start reading it but if you have already started then save the previous content and start for the next content so that logic we need to write over here so if start is already 1 that means if you have already started save the content of previous uh, uh, thing that you have already loaded and where you have loaded, loaded it you have loaded it in variable op okay so we need to write that content to a file so to write that into a file we need to first uh, create a variable right uh, to create a uh, we need to first create a file okay so we'll open another file over here with open and uh, file name again we need to keep it dynamic because we do not know uh, 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 the number of files if the data changes we need to keep it dynamic so for the time being we, we, we keep the file name simple uh, I'll just keep the counter variable as one here okay and CTR CNTR okay and I'll keep that uh, file name as counter you, you, you might have seen earlier I kept the file names as one two three four so I'll open file name with string this concatenate with dot txt as extension of that file okay so it will open this file and I want to write in this file so with write permissions as uh, output file okay something like this here I can say opf dot write because I want to write the content that I have already uh, stored somewhere and not somewhere but in a variable op okay once you write this just close this file using close function and then once you have already saved the previous content then clear this variable so that you start reading for the next section okay and when you are done with it increase the counter variable by one so that you, when, next time when you perform this operation you create a new file with a new name okay so that is all let us see what happens when we run it so f5 what does it say name ctr is not defined okay the name of variable we took as cntr here also we took cntr here we took ctr save it run it again so something happened it didn't show anything because we have not uh, printed anything but it should have generated four files and there are four files one two three and four so we have uh, extracted the meaningful, meaningful information from the data. The problem 
is the one issue which I see is in first line it adds a plank row. The reason is we have not handled it here. Mm, why? Because initially when the value of OP was plank, it was adding blank and a new line and then it was concatenating the text. So initially it, uh, for the first record it was uh, unnecessarily adding uh, this new line. So that we can handle here that if OP uh, is equal to nothing in that case in that case op is equal to x and if it is not the case in that case add a new line in between okay now when we run it it will override the files so you can watch the content again now you do not see those new lines here so this is pretty much uh, uh, if you have any questions feel free to write to me you have my email id on screen or uh, you can uh, also put uh, comments on this video yeah, if you like this video do not forget to hit like button or you can also subscribe to our youtube channel my name is uh, kamal gedar and you are watching this video on extreme python thank you